Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, and we all know what happens on a Tuesday. We've got an exciting new update from Medieval Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, let me tell you, it is rather exciting. We've got further development into the AI sort of tree. As you can see here, we've got the standard peasants that we saw a few patches ago that can move these rocks around with their mind. No, they're actually carrying them around different places. But the new addition to these AI, you can see here, is a miner. So this is quite interesting because this kind of says to me that maybe peasants are going to play a rather large part of the game in gathering resources for the player, commanding them and controlling them. So let's actually have a look at one of these miners and see exactly what they do. So if we place them near some rock, they go and hunt out a suitable position where they can actually mine. So let's place a few more in here. And you can see as they chisel these stones away, they're actually chiseling away into the ground and putting these stones in. I wonder if they can actually kill each other by mistake. I think it's going to happen here any moment. But you can see they're collecting them up. And let's see if we can have some stone men collectors collecting them stones up that they've just published. There you go. You've got a stone there being moved away. So the AI at the moment is still rather limited in how many that you can actually have. There's, there's going to be a murder going on here. I can feel the AI going to try it. But still, it's very cool that the AI are actually capable of doing such things as trying to construct or maybe build or even sculpt the land in the future. There's also been further development to the barbarians. They've been made a little bit smarter. So the new blocks that have been added, as a peasant seems to be chasing a barbarian off in the distance, are diagonal blocks. Now, diagonal blocks are rather interesting. They allow you to turn quite useless areas of a castle into something that looks quite nice, just like the rest, and connect up two towers with a diagonal sort of direction. So we've got a diagonal battlement, as we've got a diagonal platform here, and there's a few other diagonal blocks like this as well, so we can use them within our designs. So let's actually have a first, let's have a look at the battlement. We can actually place them diagonally across there, so you can see how we've actually built this. We've built this by using the sort of angled blocks, combining them with the standard squares, so we can connect up two diagonal towers, or whatever you want to do. So it allows a lot more of in-depth sort of building mechanics. Now let's actually have a look at some of the other features here. So you can see we've got an actual diagonal battlement overhang, so we can actually attach them over there and continue that walkway along. And we've got all the pieces that we need to actually suit them. So let's actually try rotating one of them around, and that should place on there really nicely. Just really cool. It's been quite a simple update this week. There's a few other features, tweaks to the barbarians and tweaks to the actual main layout of the game, graphically and internally, but nothing really that new, but still very exciting to have a look at. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.